Top 5 Greatest Japanese Samurai of All Time. The Three Great Unifiers of Japan, Oda Nobunaga, Toyotomi Hideyoshi, and Tokugawa Ieyasu were not the only well-known samurai warriors that you find in the history of Japan. There are other greatest Japanese samurais to learn about, such as Miyamoto Musashi, and Tomo Gozen, a fearsome Japanese female samurai. The samurai warriors are a key element of Japanese culture and history. Samurai does not just describe a kind of solitaire, but a social caste. In Japan, the samurai class arose in the 12th century and lasted until the 1870s. The samurai were a hereditary caste that held a great deal of political and military power, as well as a unique culture adhering to the martial code of Bushido. This included unflinching loyalty and indifference to pain. The samurai caste was abolished by the Meiji Revolution, but their influence did not wane. Many samurai moved into business or professional roles, while their cultural influence upon Japan is still very great. Many of the samurai are almost larger than life. Their fame has lasted centuries. Here are some of Japan's famous samurai warriors. Top 5 Greatest Japanese Samurai of All Time Kusunoki Masashi, 1294-1336. Hailing from Osaka, Kusunoki Masashi is still regarded as the model samurai. When he was born, in 1294, many samurai were very poor and very upset, as they believed that they had not been rewarded sufficiently by the government for their actions fighting the Mongolians. Some samurai banded together to form the Akuto, a group that did not belong to the present government. Kusunoki Masashi was a member of this group, though little else is known of his early life. In 1331, Emperor Go Daigo, 96th Emperor of Japan, was forced to flee when his plot to take down the government was revealed. He found refuge at Mount Kasagi in South Kyoto. He declared war on the government. Masashi was one of the first to pledge their loyalty to the emperor. The odds were against them, but Masashi was certain his cunning could win the day. The government thought they could end the rebellion in only a few hours, but they were deeply wrong. Kusunoki Masashi used unconventional tactics. His soldiers did not wear fine armor or swords. Instead, they threw rocks and poured boiling water on those who tried to assault their castle in Kawachi. When the greater tide seemed to turn upon news of the emperor's arrest, he opted to burn down his castle and flee, causing the government to think he and his troops had committed suicide in the fire. In Osaka, his homeland, he rallied his men as well as 1,000 locals. The government responded in force, laying siege to the small army and cutting off their supply lines. Masashi had anticipated this, however, and had created a secret path to supplies for his forces. The besieging forces starved instead of his army. This victory rallied many who had issues with the government and prompted the emperor to escape his exile to lead a renewed effort to bring it down. Despite this all, the samurai were still shortchanged and did not receive gifts of land that they needed to raise them out of poverty. Masashi encouraged the emperor to make peace, but he refused. He then tried to walk the emperor into fleeing into exile, but that was refused as well. In the end, Masashi led an army to battle Ashikaga's forces with slim hope for victory, his army was 899 men while Ashikaga's was near 200,000. With his forces whittled down to 70, he committed suicide and died in 1336. His devotion and cunning have made him a very popular samurai and he is renowned as a hero especially in his native Osaka. Top 4 Greatest Japanese Samurai of All Time Miyamoto Musashi. 1584-1645. Born in 1584, Miyamoto Mushishi was a famous and accomplished soldier, swordsman, and artist. He first engaged in real combat when he was 13. When he was on the losing side of the battle Sekigahara in 1600, he became a ronin, or masterless samurai. He set out to develop the perfect sword technique and developed a style of fencing with two swords the Nito Ichi Ryu. His reputation as a master swordsman has continued through the centuries as he is known as Kensai, or sword saint. His most famous duel is against his arch-rival Sasuke Kojura on a small island off the coast. He quickly ended the fight by striking Kojura on the head with a wooden sword. After this, he retired from dueling, though he did train a few students and helped to suppress the 1637 Shimabara Rebellion. Miyamoto Mushishi also wrote a famous work on strategy, Goren no Sho, The Book of Five Rings, on his deathbed. 
He also wrote many other books, often pertaining to his martial art and his philosophies. He was also a painter in the Sumi-e style and his works are strikingly elegant. His paintings of birds are particularly renowned, especially Kobokumekakuzu, shrike perched on a withered branch, and Rosanzu, wild geese among reeds. Top 3 Greatest Japanese Samurai of All Time Tayatomi Hideyoshi, 1537-1598. This feudal lord lived from 1536 37 to 1598 and served as chief imperial minister. He helped finish to 16th century unification of Japan, helping to create the country we know today. Tayatomi Hideyoshi was born a peasant. He left home when he was still a boy and became a page to one of the feudal baron's retainers. For a time, he became a foot soldier, then his cheer, intelligence, and tact helped him to be elevated to the status of samurai. He fought for the armies of Oda Nobunaga as the leader attempted to unify Japan under his rule. He would later build a castle in Osaka. While trying to complete the late Nobunaga's attempt at unifying the country, he clashed in battle with Tokugawa Ieyasu. The battle was inconclusive and the two samurai agreed to an alliance. He later became a powerful minister and continued to pacify regions with Tokugawa Ieyasu's assistance, becoming one of the key figures in the unified nation's government. Tayatomi Hideyoshi was responsible for solidifying the caste restrictions that marked Tokugawa Japan. Farmers, merchants, and monks were forbidden from using arms, while the class distinctions were made more rigid, separating warriors, artisans, farmers, and tradesmen into their own areas in towns and villages. He also oversaw the destruction of many castles to reduce the number of strongholds in Japan. All of this was done to help restore order after the tumults of Japan's civil wars. He abolished road checkpoints to make transportation easier and conducted land surveys. Mineral resources were developed to help create coinage for easier trade. As he grew older, Tayatomi Hideyoshi set his sights on conquering Korea. He failed two times, despite striking a temporary truce with China. In many ways, Tayatomi Hideyoshi is the source of much of how we think of the time of the Tokugawa Shogunate. Top 2 Greatest Japanese Samurai of All Time Tokugawa Ieyasu, 1543-1616. Born Matsudera Teikchio in 1542, this great samurai was the son of the lord of Makawa province. He came of age in a Japan racked with civil war and bloody feuds between territorial lords. At four years old, Ieyasu was sent as a hostage to the Imagawa clan to secure an alliance. He was raised and educated in their court. In 1567, he took leadership of his clan and changed his name to Tokugawa, after his family's home region, and took the first name Ieyasu. For the next 25 years, he grew in military renown following a series of successful campaigns. His allies later gave him governance of lands in the east of Japan, including the small port of Edo. Ieyasu placed his headquarters here, taking the first step into transforming small Edo into the thriving metropolis of Tokyo. After the unfortunate death of his ally Tayatomi Hideyoshi, civil war broke out again. Ieyasu won the war and gained the title of Shogun, becoming the military governor of Japan and the ruler in all but name of the country. So began the Tokugawa Shogunate. Ieyasu sought to restore stability in a war-torn Japan. He also encouraged foreign trade and sought to improve foreign relations. Ieyasu's influence on Japan cannot be overstated. He passed away in 1616 and his mausoleum at Nikko is one of the most important shrines in the country. Top 1 Greatest Japanese Samurai of All Time Oda Nobunaga, 1534-1582. Oda Nobunaga's story is the source of many others, but it is well worth knowing on its own. Born in 1534, Nobunaga lived in a deeply fractured Japan. Feuding warlords frequently clashed, causing much death and destruction. At 16, he took over a single district of Awari province after his father's death. Nobunaga would associate with those of lower class and broke with strict protocols on many occasions, such as at his father's funeral. Because of his sacrilegious behavior at the funeral, one of the family's most loyal samurai, Hirate Masahide, committed suicide, shocking Nobunaga into responsibility. 
This was just in time, as one of Nobunaga's uncles took seized his lordship. With the help of another uncle, the usurper was killed. Likewise, Nobunaga faced a challenge from his younger brother that only ended when he killed him. He then had to stake his own place among the many aggressive feudal lords. After fending off attackers against all odds, Nobunaga began conquering other regions. Region after region fell under his control and he adopted the seal, Tenkafubu, which means, all the world by force of arms. Not all of this was military conquest, as Nobunaga was also a gifted statesman who won many diplomatic victories as well. Nobunaga died before he unified all of Japan, perhaps from suicide or perhaps in an attempted coup, but it is his legacy that drove Tokugawa Ieyasu and his allies to create a unified, more stable Japan. Thanks for watching, please like, share and hit the notification bell for the next top 5.